Hello and welcome to another episode of Strange Horticulture. Let's start day 13, see what developments are gonna come about. Have you heard of this masked woman? Imagine having that amount of power. Nations would kneel before you. You would be a god. That creature, it's huge, unstoppable, and they say it obeys her every command. It would certainly come in helpful with my father-in-law tomorrow. <laughs> I guess I'll have to settle for some Daisy Doc to help me get to, to help get me through it instead. A simple potion that will grant courage can be brewed from the leaves. It is said that ancient warriors would take it before going into battle. Looks about right to me. Cool. All right, dude, what you got? This letter was delivered in an unusual way. There was no address provided, just the horticulturist spelled wrong. The horticulturist. <laughs> I have to assume it was meant for you. Well, thank you. If you know your plants, this letter is for you. Okay, let's see what we can do. Ah, so you got it working. Oh, yes, yes, it works, it works. Look to the north of Bowfell at the source of the river, Esk. Nobody knows it grows there. It will be our little secret. Crazy man, okay. So we need to go to Bowfell. Okay, there's Bowfell, and then north. Sure enough, I find a plant here that I've never seen before. This random dude just keeps coming through. My husband likes to forage for mushrooms, but I'm worried about the ones he brought back from his latest venture. He's just been on a trip across the lake, exploring the woods to the west of here. He's got a bag full of odd-looking mushrooms that he says are perfectly safe, but they don't look edible to me. I'd have brought one with me to help identify, but he's hoarding them because he thinks I'm going to throw them out. I'll come back tomorrow. Let's see. Mr. Dunn Mushrooms, woods west of Undermere, across the lake. Okay. The woods west of Undermere across the lake. So maybe here? Mushrooms. How have I never been here before? They're hard to find at first, but soon I'm seeing them everywhere. Oh wow, look at those guys. They say frogs with bright colors are poisonous, so that makes me think that mushrooms with bright colors might be too. Lord Fremont told me he's able to help find some information on the servant. I've been looking all over the library, but all I've discovered is a mold problem. I'm hoping you might have some sweet breath that can help me clear it up. Or we give them the plant that that other lady wanted us to give her. I don't know what to do. Hmm. I kind of want to know what she's hiding, to be completely honest. And I think it was this one that that lady gave us. So let's be a little, let's be a little edgy. Let's, let's give her the wrong thing, but the right thing. Let's see, she said, I didn't want to mention this, but Fremont gave me something else from the archives, a recipe for an elixir. In theory, it would be possible to wrest control from, of it from the woman in the jade mask. Oh, wait, it's the, wait, stop going. It's the key to the link to the servant. Oh, in theory, but... The only records I was able to find are hundreds of years old, and even if it works, what then? The power can be wielded through the Woken Dendru is too great for any one person. So she was hiding the knowledge of an elixir. Elix elixir. We should stick to the Sisterhood's ritual. Okay. I feel like we'll probably stick to the Sisterhood's ritual too. I don't feel I don't feel that brave. 
but we'll see what happens. My cousin will be married in three days. If you if you've got some trimble huff, then I then it'd save me the trouble of going out to find some myself. If you knew my cousin, you'd know she's not worth the trouble. Oh boy. I don't know if she loves her that much. Let's go read about it. We've got quite the collection going here. Here we go. The trimble huff is traditionally used as a decoration at weddings as it is thought to strengthen relationships. This is a cross section of the small cup of flowers. They generally point downwards to avoid filling with water and to allow easy access for pollinating insects. Well, that's nice. Is it, is it this maybe? That looks like what the cross section might be. Cool. All right, let's close it out. The shepherd watched as she prepared the leaves and roots that she would require. He watched as the hours dragged by, the sun set, and she worked by candlelight, at times sitting still, at times moving like a dancer among the stones. The change happened suddenly, but also subtly, so that at first the watcher was not sure that anything had happened. Then he saw it. Oh my gosh. I'm getting quite spooked. Oh, we've got a rainy Thursday. Oh, good. Eight miles to the east. That card has the same tree as that. So this says Gosforth. So is there a place called Gosforth? Yes, okay. And then eight miles to the east. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we're smart. Gazing at the still water of the lake, its black waters draw me into a reflective trance. Here and there, flowers that I don't recognize grow along the bank. New plants. All right, so with day 13 complete, we're going to go ahead and close out the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, bye.